The turn consists of four steps. Take team actions, discard used items, draw cards, and escalate. Each turn you may take up to four actions. Those actions are move, clear an obstacle, remove a fratelli, map a path, or explore. First we'll move by playing a yellow card to go to the matching location. Chunk will clear an obstacle using a doubloon. Chunk also has a special ability that allows him to draw an extra card if he clears any obstacle with a map or a doubloon. Every character has a unique ability that they can use. They also have a powerful special ability that can be used only once per game. Andy clears an obstacle using a doubloon and a key. Obstacles may be cleared in any order. Once all obstacles are cleared at a location, you may explore it using any card. Flip over the top tile. If it's treasure, place it on a map path. We've used all four of our actions, so now we discard the items used and draw more cards. In a two-player game, we each get two cards. The final step in a turn is to escalate. Draw the top card and place the obstacle at the matching location. If it has the arrow symbol on it, draw another obstacle and place it. If it has the Goonies symbol on it, draw a card from the encounter deck. The encounter deck contains Goonies cards which are good and Fratelli cards which are bad since you lose the game if there are ever five Fratellis in play. We draw a Fratelli card which forces us to discard one card each. That ends the turn and we start over with four more actions. Actions are taken as a team, not individually. We'll move to location four by playing a matching blue card as an action. When you discover treasure, you flip over the location card, which reveals a threat. I forgot to do that previously. Chunk plays a map to clear the obstacle. His character ability triggers since he was the only one to contribute and he draws an extra card. You can use two of the same card to create a wild card. In this case, Chunk and Andy combine two doubloons to make a music note to pair with a map to clear the obstacle. There is a special rule. If you ever take fewer than four actions, each player may draw an extra card. Since we only took three actions, we draw three cards instead of two this turn. Take advantage of this whenever you are running low on cards. Now we escalate again. Draw the top card and place it at the matching location. This one has an arrow, so we draw another. The next obstacle has a Goonie symbol, so we draw from the encounter deck. Oh no, it's another Fratelli! We place it in the encounter area and follow the instructions. Draw two more obstacles and place them. We now have four obstacles on both location 2 and location 3. This is bad because we lose the game if there are ever five obstacles on any one location. You win the game by mapping all five paths and finding the hidden treasure at each location. We now start over with four actions. We'll match three of a kind to map the path for lanterns. We only have two lanterns, but Andy can use a music note as a wild card, so she'll contribute the third so we can map the path and flip the tile. Now we have a place to put the next treasure that we find. Chunk plays a music note and clears the last obstacle at this location. Now we can play one card to explore. We flip the top tile over and discover a booby trap. It says to place an obstacle here and then move the Goonies to location 1. We then put the booby trap underneath the other exploration tiles. Remember the special rule. We'll end our turn early and each draw an extra card. There is also a hand limit size. If you're ever over it, immediately discard until you aren't. We then escalate and place the obstacle. It has an arrow, so we draw another obstacle. Normally, you would want to clear out obstacles at this point, but instead we'll do an example of removing a fratelli. Again, you'll need three of a kind. We could use the three lanterns, but we'll use Andy's character ability instead. She contributes two maps and uses the music note as a wild card to make the third match. Choose one of the fratellis and place them in the encounter deck's discard pile. And those are the basics of the game. Once you get a few wins under your belt, try different characters or one of the harder game modes.